Worship Him. Oh, worship Him. Bow down and worship Him. Oh, worship Him. Worship Him. Oh, oh, oh. oh worship Him.
worship you, Lord. So we bow down. We bow when we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So we bow down and worship him. You are holy. Oh, so holy. Lift your hands. You are holy, oh, so holy. What a privilege and an honor to worship at your throne. To be calling to, to, be calling to your presence as your own. Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy. What a privilege and an honor to worship at your throne. Come on, lift your hands and worship the Lord. To your presence as He's a faithful Lord on this evening. He's faithful. You are faithful. Oh, so faithful. Oh, so faithful. Oh, when we think about all that you have done for us, Jesus. You are faithful. When we think, oh, God of God, where we What a privilege and an honor to worship at your That's why we throne. worship you, Lord. To be called into your presence as your own. Come on and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. Hey, we worship you, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody lift your voice up. And worship the King, hallelujah. Oh, He's in the presence here tonight. Lord. He's in our presence, hallelujah. Forget everything Lord. and everyone that is yeah. next to you. Uh, and just up in a uh, hallelujah and worship the King. Uh, hallelujah. He dwells in the very praises uh, of his people. Hallelujah. Praise is what we do. Uh. Hallelujah. There is no one I can search. I can search the heavens high. I can search the earth below, but there's no one. There is no one. No one. There is no one. No one. No one. No one so holy. No one so worthy. No one so worthy. No one so faithful. No one so faithful. There is no one. There is no one. No one. No one so holy. No one so worthy. No one so worthy. No one so faithful. No one so faithful. There is no one. There is no one. No one. No one. No one. No one. No one. No. Your holy name. Come on and tell the Lord. 
He is here. He is here. He is here. He is here in this place. Oh. And we worship and adore your holy name. Lift your hands and tell the Lord you are. You are here. You are here. You are here in this place. And we worship and adore your holy name. You are here. You are here. You are here. You are here. This place. You are here in, in this place, and we worship, and we worship and adore your holy name. He is here. 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 He is here in this place, and we worship, and we worship. Your holy name. You are here, Lord. You are here. You are here. You are here, Lord. You are here. You're right in this place. And we worship. And we worship and adore your holy name. And we worship and adore. And we worship and adore. Your holy name. And we worship and adore. And we worship and adore. Your holy name. We worship and adore your Lord. And we worship and adore. Somebody lift your hands and begin to adore worship and adore your holy name. Lord, we worship and adore your name. And we worship and adore. Your holy name. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Put your hands together, yeah. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. When I was saved, I was saved, Lord. You healed Think me about when it on I was saved. I don't know Lord. about you, but I'm you so grateful to the healing power when Lord. I was saved, Lord. You healed me. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Lord, I thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. I thank you all the days of my life. Oh Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. I thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. I thank you all the days of my life. 
Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. We will enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. We'll be thankful unto him and we'll bless his name. Amen. If you are grateful, if you are thankful to God for keeping you, providing for you, when you were not thinking about him, he was thinking about you. If you are thankful to him, could you lift your hands to heaven? A total surrender to him. Ah. And give him thanks from your heart. Lord, thank you for keeping me today. Thank you, O oh God, for providing. Indeed, God, you have been a keeper. And we give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Are you grateful this evening? For God dwells in praise. Do you want his presence this afternoon? Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Because I need him more tonight. Hallelujah. Could you praise the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. You've been so good. You are worthy of all our praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Glory to your name. We thank God for another Tuesday night we can be in this house. Amen. To give him praise, honor, and glory. Hallelujah. Take this opportunity to welcome you all here on behalf of our bishop, Dr. Reverend Michael Lewis. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. He's worthy. He's worthy. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We thank God for him. Amen. And for you who are taking us in online, welcome also. Hallelujah. We want to invite you to be with us, though. On next Tuesday, you could be in this house so that we could make one voice, like one man unto our God, our creator. Amen. 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 Make it possible. Be in this place. For there is a seat for you. Amen. And let's worship our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody put your hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together. Amen. Because he is our life, he is our life. Amen. Because of him, we live and we move. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. May have your seat with a shout this evening. Hallelujah. Today I'm thinking about how good God is. And when we come into the house, we are so quiet. Seriously, we are quiet. And we should make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Somebody give God a shout. Yeah. We're supposed to be some noise makers. Glory to God. We thank God for his mercy towards us. Amen. Amen. At this time, the ushers are coming to distribute the envelopes. Amen. In their presence is their tithe and love offering envelope. The Bible admonishes us that we ought to bring our tithe into the storehouse of the Lord. Amen. I will confess this. It's a little while I haven't used the envelope. Amen. I run to the machine. You hear what I'm saying? Bring it. Whether in, you put it in the envelope or you run to the machine. I believe this year must be a year of an overflow for me. In spite of my slimness, it must be an overflow for me. Glory to God. Also, they have the blue envelope that goes straight to our pastor. We do have a man of God in this house. Amen. And he deserves double honor. 
why he deserved double honor. He looked after our souls, one. And when your head hurts in it, that's your physical, he look after that too. So he deserved what? Double honor. So honor the man of God. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. And also those of you who had made Nehemiah pledge, honor your pledges today. Amen. Glory to God. So as the ushers come to serve you, we have a special selection. It's coming from Corinne Lewis, our dear sister Corinne Lewis. Please put your hands together. Welcome her as she comes today. Hallelujah. All this stuff already, she has not arrived as yet. Hallelujah. I stand before you guilty and unworthy. How can I be forgiven and holy? Lord, I know I break your heart, but you promised I could start all over and know the things I've done. You placed them each and every one into the sea of forgetfulness. You placed all of my sins. For I'm the one who keeps reminding you over and over again into the sea of forgetfulness. As far as the east from the west, 70 times 7, you've forgiven me. And you keep cleansing me and placing my sin into the sea of forgetfulness. You welcome me with open arms of mercy. In spite of all I've done, you still keep loving me, and I only need to ask, and you erase all of my past forever. My debts have all been paid, and they have all been washed away into the sea of forgetfulness. You placed all of my sins, for I'm the one who keeps reminding you over and over again into the sea of forgetfulness. As far as east from the west, 70 times 7, you've forgiven me. And you keep cleansing me and placing my sin into the sea of forgetfulness. Placing my sins into the sea of forgetfulness. Thank God for our dear sister Corinne. Amen. May the Lord continue to use her, amen, as she make herself available. At this time, please put your hands together for our brother Kevin Cyrus as he comes to bring us to the church's announcements. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ this evening. I'm confident that you can do much better than that, Amen. He deserves a better hand praise than that. Amen. It truly is a privilege to be in the house of the Lord this Tuesday evening. Amen. And it's also my pleasure to bring to you the announcements for tonight. Join us tomorrow for Wednesday prayer in the city from 9 a.m. Come and spend some quality time in prayer. Amen. 
from 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Join our prayer warriors and intercessors as they spend some time praying right here at the temple tomorrow from 9 a.m. On Thursday, the very powerful Thursday lunchtime service begins at 11 a.m. And the, by now we know that this is a service, a powerful service of healing, deliverance, and breakthrough. Amen? So if you know someone who is in need of prayer, this is the service to bring them to our Thursday lunchtime service from 11 a.m. right here this coming Thursday. Friday, early morning prayer begins at 6 a.m. And if you want to start your day the right way, prayer is the answer. Amen? So join us for early morning prayer this coming Friday from 6 a.m. Bring the entire family. And this Friday evening, afternoon rather, all roads lead to the Quasi in San Juan. Yes, feel free to put your hands together because by now you are aware that our street crusade heads to the Quasi in San Juan from 4 p.m. this Friday. And we are all instructed to wear white tops and denim bottoms. Amen? Yes, we are on a mission to win souls for the kingdom. And we'll be, we'll be doing exactly that this coming Friday from 4 p.m. at the Quasi in San Juan. Remember, white tops, black bottoms, and be dear. Sunday school is held every Sunday at 2 p.m. And please know that there's a class for all age groups, children, teens, and adults. Amen? So 2 p.m., Sunday school every Sunday. And immediately following our Sunday school, is our Sunday evening worship experience. And this takes place from 3 p.m. And it's a worship experience like no other. Amen? We know how to praise and worship our God the right way. And we will be doing that this and every Sunday right here from 3 p.m. So invite someone. We are all invited to join with Pastor Peter Williams and the Shagona's Deliverance Temple in their Thanksgiving service. Feel free to put your hands together. For Jesus, yes, this Thanksgiving service takes place on May 9th at, at their church on Desmond Street, Shagwanas. Let's continue to celebrate and giving thanks with all of our churches as we join with Pastor Peter Williams and the Shagwanas Deliverance Temple in their Thanksgiving service on May 9th. San Fernando Deliverance Temple is hosting a very special fundraising event and it takes place on May the 11th and it's a May fair. Yes, I think this is a good place to put your hands together for Jesus. A May fair fund fundraiser, an evening of fashion and entertainment, Saturday the 11th of May 2024 from 2.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. The venue is the Pleasantville Community Center, San Fernando. There will be guest ministers, and they include the San Fernando Steel Symphony. Our very own Pastor Merlin Wheeler. The Sando Junior Tahila Dancers. And Akim Nicholas. Yes, this sounds like a very exciting lineup of entertainment and ministers. Amen. Refreshments will be on sale and there are door prizes to be won. The tickets cost adults $75, children one to two years of age, free of charge, three to five years, $15, and six years to 12 years, just $25. I think for these prices, we should all be there, amen? So let's go out and support the San Fernando Deliverance Temple in this very special fundraising event. And there are prizes to be won, of course, and the different categories, girls and boys, one to two years, three to five years, and six years to 12 years of age. Amen? So if you need further information, feel free to see Pastor Debbie, I'm sure, would have further information or Minister Della Thompson. Dr. Lewis would like all auxiliaries, ministers, heads of departments, and everyone else to join him in a special prayer meeting on May 17th 
right here at the temple from 6.30 p.m. Yes, a very special prayer meeting. All auxiliaries, heads of departments, and everyone, we are all encouraged to be here. Let us all make a concerted effort to heed the call of our bishop and come out and be here for this important prayer meeting. So mark that date on your calendar, May 17th, right here at the temple from 6.30 p.m. Our sports and family day is fast approaching. Yes, it will be held on June 8th at the Larry Gomes Stadium in Arima. The teams are getting ready. There are two teams in Port of Spain, the blue team and the red team. If you are not yet placed in a team, time is running out. You need to arrange that. You can see any member of the camp committee immediately following this service, tonight's service. I believe they are members of the camp committee here. I'm seeing Sister Ruth. Can you please stand, Sister King and Brother King as well. I believe they are also on the camp committee. So you feel free to see any one of these persons, myself as well, right after tonight's service, if you are not yet on a team. Yes, teams are preparing. The competition promises to be fierce, and it will be a day of fun and excitement at the Larry Gomes Stadium in Arima from June 8th. I know that there are some teams gunning to, for bragging rights. Chase Village, <laughs> Rio Claro, and of course, San Fernando. Competition promises to be fierce. So, I am not supposed to be biased. However, I would like to inform Paul Spain to Please get your act together as we prepare to take on this, this challenge. Amen? Amen. And uh, there's a very special announcement from the media ministry. The media ministry will be hosting a fundraising event. It's a fundraiser and a aerobic burnout. All you fit people, this is for you. The not so fit as well. You could come, we could join in as well and try our hands. It's a two-fold event. Media members will be approaching members of the church with donation cards. We encourage you, we urge you to please make a donation as they approach you. Amen? Because that's the whole point of this exercise. They are raising funds to purchase much-needed new equipment. Amen? So be there at this aerobics burnout carded for Saturday the 18th of May from 3 p.m. at the car park located on Rodney Street, which is, which is just to the east of the building. So you go up the road and you make a hard left and you're on Rodney Street. Amen? For those of you who don't know, registration, right. So the landmark is Belvers Delight. If you know where Belvers business is, you're on the right area, okay? So registration takes place this coming Sunday, and uh, I am sure that there are prizes to be won. So we encourage everyone, register and come out and be a part of this fundraising event and let us support the media ministry in this venture. Amen? Amen, people? Amen. As I conclude, let us continue in prayer for our pastor, Reverend Dr. Michael Lewis. It is imperative. Yes, feel free to put your hands together. As we continue to celebrate this very tremendous gift that God has blessed us with, as we thank God for him as well. Amen. Let us remember to pray for him as much as we would like to celebrate him. I think it's important that we remember to pray for him. Amen. Let us remember to pray for everything and everyone that concerns him, including the first family of Deliverance Temple. Pray for our nation, Trinidad and Tobago. Pray for our church, Deliverance Temple International. And it's also important that we remember to pray for each other. Amen. These are all the announcements for this evening. I encourage you to back them up with your prayer, your presence, and your godly support. Put your hands together as our chairperson returns. Glory to God. Thank you, Brother Cyrus, for the introduction there. Hallelujah. Somebody just lift your hand and say, thank you, Lord. Say, thank you, Lord. 
I believe something is about to happen. There's a long time song is just saying it's coming down. Somehow I have a feeling something is about to happen. Amen. Amen. But could you all stand this evening? Glory to God. And just lift your hand. Hallelujah. And say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise. I honor you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just be thankful to him. Amen, amen, amen. It's a time that everyone should know who Jesus is. What he had done and what he is doing. We are about to go into our testimony and choruses and we have Brother Nyron Cummings. Amen. Will lead us in our choruses and testimonies. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. If hallelujah. you love Jesus, say Jesus, I love you. Jesus. Come on and clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is my strength. 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 The joy of the Lord. Clap your hands if you want joy.
brought me from Ghana every two, the fourth month. And all my families are well to provide everything for us. We do not need of nothing. So yes, so tonight, um, I just want to thank God. Yesterday was my birthday. <laughs> 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 Good evening, everyone. I am giving God all praise, honor, and glory for his goodness and his mercies. God has been truly, truly good to me and my family. I want to thank God for Bishop Lewis. Um, that word you give us for Omni, a change is coming. And the fast that you told us to go on, that to make it personal. And I did for the three days, and I got a serious, serious sinus attack. And in order for that to pass, I had to take medication, but I didn't. I say I have to go through this because I took that word and made it personal. And after the fast, God answered three of my prayers, one right after the other, this Sunday, exactly how I wanted God to do it. He did it. And I give God praise for that. Also, I'm thanking God for protection. I remember leaving home. We left home and we were on our way out on the boulevard. And we forgot to pick up something in the shop. So we turned back and went to the shop. And when we got back onto the boulevard, we saw an accident. And I know that is God's protection. I give God praise, honor, and glory for that as well. Also, I thank God for his keeping power. I had a minor little incident where I damaged my hand. And it's, I thank God it didn't break. This hand, I just have minor issues with it, which is just the soft tissues, and I thank God for his protection. I, this is the second time I damaged his hand. I thank God for the healing protection, his guidance, and his angels. I believe in angels. I know they're angels always around me and my family. I've experienced that tremendously, and I give God praise, honor, and glory for his goodness and his mercies. Lord. Good night, Pastor Lewis and everyone else. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. And what I waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. You know, I had a son I had a son in the hospital, and he's, Pastor Lewis, um, called the three days prayer. The Lord help me. I put his name on the first on the list. He was there for 28 days, and on the 28th day, he, he came out of the hospital, and he... He came home, come, he came to visit me, and he couldn't come up that stairs where I live in. So I want to thank God for his power. I want to thank God for his, for his might. I want to thank God because he's going by himself. And I want to say that whenever Pastor Lewis um, asks the church to sow a seed, on, when you're going to, when you, when you have the prayers, I tell you, sow a seed. We all must sow exactly what he says because God is not a liar. God is truth. God, God can't, it is impossible for God to lie, right? So I say that what you sow, God will, will work with that. And especially when you sow what exactly what Pastor Lewis put there. He do it, he didn't do it. It's not Pastor Lewis. It's God. It's God who used Pastor Lewis to do that. So we ain't, we ain't, we ain't obeying Pastor Lewis, we obey God. So I want you all to please do, do that, and you will see the results. I give God praise, glory, and honor. Thank you. Hi, good night, everyone. Good night, Pastor Lewis. I just came to say thank you to my Lord and Savior for keeping me with his grace and his mercy. I just came back to say thank you. I am thankful for God for keeping my family. I am also proud of my sister 
She is graduating in July. everyone. I'm thanking God for my sister, for my family. I'm thanking God that he knows best. I am in my last rotation before my graduation, and it's pretty much the most important one. And initially, you do half in one place and then half in another place, with Port of Spain being mandatory. So I wanted to start off in Port of Spain and then go to Mount Hope. But I thank God that, again, he knows best. I didn't get my placements in right away. Um, it was really the Friday before the rotation starts on the next Monday. And I ended up being separated from all of the people that I'm most comfortable with, and pretty much in a hospital with persons I don't really work with all the time. And I thank God that sometimes he separates us. Sometimes he makes us uncomfortable for our own good. And I thank God that even in the midst of teams being swapped when I was already there, that he, he kept me in one place and kept me on one specific team. And I am learning so much. I thank God for the direction that I prayed for, he is bringing it into, into being, that I'm seeing it around me. I'm getting people to direct me and highlight things and make things clear. And I thank him so much that even though, you know, other people are so flustered and anxious, that as I seek him, he is making the way very clear. And I thank him that throughout each step, as I acknowledge him for his he continues to direct my path. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. There's a song that says, Jesus, yeah, you have done it again. Nathaniel Bassi penned those words, and I, I, I am always listening to that song over and over. On Sunday, I felt a sharp pain in my chest, and I was like, what trouble is this, boy? I know that God has promised me long life. And so today, I just want to stand in the congregation of the righteous. I thank God for my pastor who prayed, um, Sister Angela Stevens, my, my old prayer partner, Minister Marlene, and all of the persons, Pastor Bernard, that prayed for me. Because I began to cold sweat and all that. I said, look, me and taking this, you know. So I am grateful that, you know, we can call on our Father. We can call on the elders and God did it again. To God be the glory, great things he has done. I'm thanking God this tonight for my children. I'm thanking God for all four of them, Akhil and, and Asim, Javan and, and Jelani. I'm thanking God for my seven grandchildren and I'm thanking God again. I'm not waiting until the battle over. He in 70 yet, but he coming close to it. And I'm thanking God in advance that he's going to make it to that and there will be no sort of hiccups coming into that. I am thanking God in advance on tonight. So to God be the glory, great things he has done. Thank you. Good night, everyone. I'm standing here tonight to say to God be the glory, great things he has done. I don't take it for granted every time God grants me favor. And whenever I leave, he takes care of me and he brings me back. And when I'm there, it's, um, it, it just blows my mind how he sets things just the way it's supposed to be for me. And I'm giving him all of the praise, all of the honor, and all of the glory. And I will always be steadfast in his way, always. Praise God. Tonight I'm giving God praise, thanks, honor, and glory. Thanking God for his goodness, his mercies, his loving kindness. Thanking God for all that he has done. Thanking God for my seven siblings. Thank God for each and every one of them, my nieces and nephews. Thank God for my children. And on tonight, I want to thank God for my mom. She's not here, but I come to the privilege to thank God for her life, for keeping her, for her health, her strength. She's still have a little challenge, 
I think she might be watching us all now. But I wanted to know how much we love her and how much we appreciate her. I wanted to know that we thank God that she's on the land of the living and that God has kept her in spite of, of how she's feeling, in spite of what she's going through. My mom has been a hard worker since I knew my mother. Has been a hard worker. And I'll tell you this, my best time, my best time with my mom is when she had myself and Barbara. We had our best time. <laughs> it was our best time with my mom. My sisters didn't experience this, but my mom used to go everywhere with us. We used to go excursions. When we were supposed to be somewhere on a Saturday, we go to the beach. On a Sunday, we go to the airport and see airplanes lift off and go. My mother used to take us, allow us to go just to, just to take a drive. You know, just get a car, we go driving, doesn't matter which part, but to drive long time used to be very long, you know, but now it's very short. But it, it used to be enjoyable. <clears throat> we used to play, we never used to play hitting games, but we used to play tickling games. My sisters and I never experienced all these things, but we used to have fun. So I really want to thank God. She's not here tonight, but I want my mother to know we do love her, we do appreciate her, and we thank God for her life for adding years to her life. My mother is going to be celebrating her birthday on tomorrow. And she would not be here to, to thank God for herself, but I think it's a, taken a privilege to do that for her and to thank God for her life that she'll be celebrating another birthday. So you all just make sure and let my, my mom know how much you all love and appreciate her. She's not out just selling her seed bread and cake and pool, but my baby's there doing there. You know, so she's still, her, her, her trade is still being carried on. And everything that she has instilled in us, that we are still doing it. You know, but so we just want to thank God. You, you, you must carry on. You don't leave it behind, but you, you, you carry on. And you just pass it on to, you, to your children. You know, cooking and the baking and everything. So we just want to thank God. So mom, I just want to let you know we love you and we appreciate you. And the family of deliverance, love you. Hallelujah. Let's all stand. Thank you, Jesus. It's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling in my soul. I'm singing, I'm shouting, sing Jesus made me whole. Some folks can understand it, but I can keep it quiet. It's bubbling, 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 bubbling in my soul. It's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling in my soul. I'm singing, I'm shouting, sing Jesus made me whole. Some folks can understand it, but I can keep it quiet. It's bubbling, 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 bubbling in my soul. It's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling in my soul. I'm singing, I'm shouting, till Jesus made me whole. Some folks can understand it, but I can keep it quiet. It's bubbling, 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 bubbling in my soul. It's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling in my soul. I'm singing, I'm shouting, till Jesus made me whole. Some folks don't understand it, but I can keep it quiet. It's bubbling, 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 bubbling in my soul. We thank God for those testimonies. Amen. You may have your seat with a praise as, as we get ready to give to the Lord. Amen. God loves us. Welcome to our online donation. To submit your tithes or donate, log on to deliverance-temple.org. Click on the Donate tab top right on the screen. Select Donate Now or Donate Directly to Trinidad via WeP. Select your method of payment, either Donate via Credit Debit Card tab or Donate via WePay Pay Voucher. Complete the form and proceed to check out or submit donation. You can also support our ministry while visiting any First Citizens Bank. Donate to the account number 1490776 in the name of Valley Deliverance Temple. Thank you for your financial contribution. Hello. I'm Sister Aisha, 
and we want to take this time to pause to say to each of you, those of you here in Trinidad and Tobago, and those of you abroad, welcome to Deliverance Temple International. We will be heading back into service in a short while. However, we would like to invite you to join us in person right here at number 30 Besson Street in Port of Spain. Although we know the God we serve, he's omniscient, yes. There is nowhere that he cannot go. However, we would like to invite you to join us at Deliverance Temple, number 30 Besson Street, where we can have some great fellowship with you and your family. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in to this program. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We'll be heading back into service in a short while. For you, just have the faith to receive it. My God, He knows, He knows that you need it. There's a blessing in this house waiting for you. There is healing, there is healing in this house waiting for you. There's healing in this house. Waiting for you. Just have the faith to receive it. My, my, my God knows. He knows that you need it. There's healing in this house. Waiting for you. There's a blessing. There's a blessing in this house. Waiting for you. There's a blessing in this house. Waiting for you. Just have the faith. Just have the faith to receive it. My God, he knows. He knows that you need it. There's a blessing in this house waiting for you. We thank God for that special, amen. You that didn't give, I pray that you would double it up in the second offering, amen. Because there's a blessing in your giving. Talk to me, somebody. When you give, you can expect God to bless you. We want to put our hands together. We want to welcome the supernatural voices of deliverance as they come to minister in song.
We thank God for the supernatural voices of deliverance. Amen. We thank God for the choir. Oh, yes. We thank God for that. Everybody standing at this time. If you notice somebody sitting down, please ask them to get up. Amen. We want to put our hands together. We want to welcome our very own bishop, the Reverend Dr. Michael Lewis, as he comes. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. We give God praise and thanks and honor and all of the glory, all of the things that he has been doing for us. We thank God that you were make, able to make it out here tonight. Every opportunity you have to come into the house of God, you should be grateful. You should wave your hand. You should raise your voice. You should thank him, thank him, thank him, because a lot of people couldn't make it out here tonight. Some are lying on a hospital bed. Amen. But God was good to you. Look at you. Amen. Look at the mother celebrating another birthday. Amen. I tell you, when you start to think how God has kept you and what God has done for you, ah, oh, it's enough to give him all the praise, honor, and glory. I was just sitting there and thinking, you know, it's about, it's about 10 years now my wife died. And, you know, you wonder how you're going to make it. And this church family took care of me. God allow you all to take care of me. I give him all the praise and thanks and glory and honor for you all taking such good care of me. And I don't know, I just think we have a lot more to do for God. And I want you to make sure and plan that you and your family, your whole auxiliary, whatever auxiliary in, is here on the 17th. It's going to be a prayer meeting that you need to be in. Amen. Now, we're very happy to have Brother Chris with us. He's coming to share for a few minutes. He and his beautiful wife is here. And he's just Brother Chris. Amen. He's not apostle and bishop and all, all the, the names. You know, you know, I didn't I never hear Evangelist Moses or Deacon Joshua. Or, you know, it was just Joshua, Moses, Elijah. You know, and even when they started doing here all Roberts, T L Osborne. I didn't hear all these big set of names come out. 
and they don't even know what it means. Apostle is one that do church planting. A bishop is over churches. A man have a little ten members in a church and he's bishop. What kind of thing is that? You all forget titles. It's good that you have a title. I'm glad to have deacons and deaconess. But don't hang up on that. Hang up on doing the work of God. Help me to welcome Brother Chris as he comes. And his beautiful wife. and welcome Bishop and Pastor Lewis. <laughs> yes, he's a wonderful friend of mine. You know, he always encourages me. You know, so I uh, tell him um, I want to come and share a little bit with you all what the Lord has laid in my heart. You know, and there are my lovely wife here. Sister Makita. You know what I do want to ministry with you all this evening? We time from it. Those maybe who are sick, who need a word of prayer, we will be praying for you and all as well. We just see how the Lord leads. Amen? So before we enter into the word of God, let's look to the altar. I always believe that in, um, Look into the author, for he is the author of the word, and the best person who you can go to to interpret it, any book, anything that is written, is go to the author. Amen? Amen? Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy, Lord. Lord, any man can peel back the pages of this Bible and read a text. But only you, Lord, can give the context that is written. So, Father, we look unto you this evening to give us the context, Lord. And the text we are about to read this evening, may you bless the people. May our hearts, Lord, even burn within us as you spoke to your disciples of old on the road to Amos. May you give us understanding, Lord, on your word. May you bless the people. Bless your servant tonight, Lord. May you give me grace that I be able to move myself out of the way. We ask it and we ask for your blessing and the blessing the remainder of the service. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen. You, before you all have your seats, we want to stand, you know, we want to reference the word of God. I all believe in reverencing the word of God because this is God. This is God in written form. We stand when the, the magistrate of the coming to the courtroom, we all stand in respect. I believe you all stand in respect for God's word because this is our judge. We will be not judge by no church. No economy, no nothing, but we will be judged by the word of God. This is our judge. And we are come into the house of God to meet our judge. Amen? Yes, judgment begins first at the house of God. So where shall the sinner and the ungodly appear? So now, for I want to take out a text from Jeremiah chapter 10, from the first verse. I trust that you all walk with other Bibles. I believe you've been walking with other Bibles and coming to church. I know we all have technologies today with phones and all the different things like that. But nothing is good as the good old Bible. Amen? Amen. All found? Amen. I want to put on some help. I can see clearly now. Amen. You know, when I cross a certain age, the eyes just start to get dim. Amen. Chapter 10. Hear ye the word which the Lord speak unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the hatters, and be not dismayed. 
are the signs of heaven. For the heartens are dismayed at them. May the Lord add the blessing of the reading of his holy word. You may be seated now. Amen. Amen. Now it is, the Lord is speaking here and he's saying, he's telling the house of Israel. And we know that the house of Israel, all Bible readers should know, is a type of the church today. The Old Testament is a type and a shadow of the church, the children of Israel, is a type of what a church is going through today. And this word that the Lord has spoken to Israel is still much alive for today. But the word of God is always a living. Because it is God and God is living. And it's always relevant. And the Lord is saying here, learn not the way of the hatters. The heathens, hatters, what do you pronounce it? The heathens, learn not their ways. For they are dismayed. And the dismayed come from the word discourage. They are discouraged. For the signs of the heavens. So the signs of the heavens discourage the heathens. When they look and they see the things that are coming to pass. When they see the word of the Lord coming to pass. And they see the signs that the Bible spoke of coming to pass. They get discouraged. It discourages them. They get all worried. Because they do not know what it's all about. So they get all worried and they get all flustered. And the Lord is saying, learn not their ways. You know what he's saying? Do not be discouraged. Do not lose heart. When you see the signs in the heavens. When you see the signs uh, that is coming to pass. He said don't be discouraged. But if the signs of the heavens. Discourages the heathens. What it will do to the believer. It will encourage the believer. It should encourage the believer. When we look today, now, my text here, and I'm trying to bring this text to show and to bring to you an understanding so you can understand the signs of the coming or the appearing of the Lord. I want your mind to fix on that. Because today, we as believers supposed to be looking in anticipation for one thing and that's the coming of the Lord. The coming of Christ. I know many churches around the nations do not preach much again concerning the coming of the Lord. When I was a young boy growing up, it was fire all over the place. BBPN, the Lord is coming. Jesus is coming. But it seems as though as I grow a little older, it started to die off and cool off. That nobody now wants to preach about the coming of the Lord. And I have many ministers' friends. And when I 
talk to them. Why don't you sensitize the people about the coming of the Lord? Because it's the greatest event. It's the greatest thing that a believer should be looking for. So what am I saying? The people ain't ready yet. So what am I telling me? No, the people, they, they, they're not ready to receive that yet. And I was like, dumbfounded. I, I can't understand. But then I realize they do not want to talk about it because it discourages them. They get fearful. I talk to some of believers, but I, I don't want the Lord to come as just yet, you know, because, you know, my life ain't right yet. So when they talk about the coming of the Lord and the nearness of the coming of the Lord, no, 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 don't talk about that. Because they, they are fearful. They become dismayed. They become disheartened. They get this courage. And it goes to sh and it shows me that that individual is not in love with the Lord. It's sad to say. Though they may cry, Jesus, I love you. I love you, Lord, I love you. But if you really love somebody, you will want to be in their presence. You will, and they tell you, boy, I'm coming home by you. You have a good friend, and you really love that friend. And that friend tells you, you're coming home. You're waiting in anticipation for that friend to come. But then we say, what a friend we have in Jesus. And we hear Jesus coming, and we say, no, 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 we don't want to come yet. So, and see that. So when we see the signs of his coming, we get this courage. We get dismayed. And we should not. Because the coming of the Lord speaks so much. The coming of Christ, because when the Lord Jesus Christ was on the earth, he speaks more about his second coming than his first. So what about the signs of his coming? Are we discouraged when we see divers, earthquakes, Earthquakes happening around the world are we discouraged. When we see the waves are roaring, we see signs in the heavens, are we getting discouraged as believers? Or are we rejoicing in our heart? And we see what the Lord Jesus had spoken about is coming to pass. And we know his nearing, his coming, his appearing is so near, is at the door. Are we rejoicing in our hearts? Our hearts, are we our heart is not glad to see the word coming to pass. It, I rejoice. I rejoice when I see the word of God coming to pass. I rejoice. Hey, my soul leap for joy when I see the things that the Bible speaks about coming to pass. Because you know why? I know my Savior is near. My lover, he's coming. He's right at the door. Because he made me a promise. And I've been testifying of this from since I'm a little boy. That I will never taste of death. And people look at me very strange when I tell them, no funeral home ain't making no money for me. If they're waiting on me to make money, I better close up their shops. Look for some other business. Not for me. They say, but brother Rivas, you come here to make stone? I said, no, I ain't come here to make stone. But I have a promise. I have a promise of the Lord. And I'm holding God to that promise. And I will not taste of death until I'm changed in a moment, in a twink of an eye. I'm looking forward for the rapture. I'm looking forward for the coming of the Lord. Oh, yes, I want to believe in the rapture. I believe in a translation. I believe in this body turning to immortality. Why is I'm yet alive? Oh, yes, I believe in that. 
I believe in the second coming of Jesus Christ. How many believe in him? How many looking forward for him? Amen. I want to encourage your hearts. I want to encourage you this evening. Do not be discouraged when you see these things taking place. But be encouraged in your heart that the master is near. Don't learn their ways. Don't be discouraged. But watch. What Jesus tell us? Watch and pray. Look. Look every moment. And we ought to be living every day as believers. Like the Lord Jesus Christ is coming tomorrow. Or oh, he's coming right now. But you know what people get discouraged for? Pastor Lewis? They want to accomplish so much things in this life. So when they hear, well, I want to get married. I want promotion in the job. I want to get my education. I want to buy this new car. And I have to build my house. And if the Lord comes, I do come. All these things will fall down. So when they hear about the coming, like, no, no, no. You understand? Some want big ministries. So they want to accomplish all these different and build set churches all over the place. So they don't want to come out of the Lord because they, they want to leave a legacy. Yeah, they want to leave a legacy. The only legacy I want to leave is that I have tell the people the truth. I have tell them the truth. So saints have gone. Be courage. Be encouraged. When they see these things taking place, be encouraged. Rejoice. Be exceedingly glad. For the Lord will not disappoint. We ought to be as believers. And as, and as always say, some walking on thin and needles. In this crooked and perverse world. So that we will not, our garments will not be spotted with the world. And the things of this world. Let me tell you something, friends. Jesus said he's coming for a church without spot and wrinkle. He's not coming for a church denomination. Not a church organization. But a body of people who, was, who is called out for his name. That's why Jesus said there will be one there in the bed, one in the field, one shall be there. It's an individual affair. He deals with the Gentiles, and we all are Gentiles, we know that, as individuals. So the Lord is dealing with individuals. Rev, it's not everybody that sits here will make it in. But it's the individual that will take the word of God and apply it in their hearts and apply it in their lives and live by the word of God and by every word of God. You know what Jesus said? Man shall not live you know it? it takes every word of God for man to live by. You know when death set in? Death set in in the human race when one individual disbelieved one word. 
Debt set in. And don't ever think that you could disbelieve one part of God's word and expect to have eternal life. It don't work so. It takes every believing and acting upon every word of God to have life. Oh, yeah. If you never heard it before, you hear it now. It takes all the word of God. It takes a believing heart that will believe all the word of God for eternal life. Eve had doubted one word. Not the whole sentence. One word was just twisted wrong in the Garden of Eden. And it caused all the deaths, all the heartache, all the cemetery, all the hospitals, everything that you see wrong in this world. It was caused by one person who disbelieved in one word. They were thrown out of the blessings of God. They were thrown out of the Garden of Eden. They were thrown out. Of the, of the inheritance of eternal life. As long as they were believing God's word, they were living. And as soon as they disbelieved, death set in. So friends, it's very important to believe all the word of God. Not only believe it, but act upon it. By you acting upon it, it shows that you believe it. You can say you believe, but then when you're not acting on it, then truly and really you don't believe. So friends, I want to encourage you. And I want to remind you this week that take all the word of God. Look at life only will come in your soul by you believing all the word of God. And if God did not spare his first couple of children and he put them out of his blessings for disbelieving one word, don't you think you will get back in by you disbelieving one word? No matter how small it is, or how insignificant it is. You know, we have a saying, the little foxes that spoil the vine, is sometimes it's not the big things we do, you know, it's the little things we didn't do that cause the problem. And it's the little things, the little signs that point us to the coming of the Lord that we neglect and we fail to look up on. And it will cause us to miss the coming of the Lord. God does not do anything except he first reveals it. He makes it known. Over in the book of Amos, he said, The Lord God has surely do nothing except he reveals his secrets unto his servants the prophets. And when God is about to do anything, he first gives a sign that he's about to do this. But sometimes we overlook those signs. When Jesus was about to come, the sign of Jesus coming was John the Baptist. He was that sign that the Messiah is about to appear. Is about to appear. John the Baptist had a sign so that he could recognize the Messiah. And that was a dove coming upon that man. And a form of uh, the Holy Spirit in a form of a dove coming upon and resting upon him. That was a sign to John. And we have a sign today. We have many signs today. And we will look and see. And we will recognize that the appearing of the Lord is near. And Jesus has given us those signs. So when you see the sign like Noah come upon the face of the earth, 
When they see the signs like luck come upon the face of you. And we've seen these signs. We've seen the world in a Sodom and Gomorrah condition. We've seen the world in a state of violence. So we know of a shore that is nigh the door. So we ought to encourage ourselves. Take courage. Seeing of our Lord is near. Follow the word of God. Eat the word of God day and night. Do not sleep like the sleeping virgin. Let your lamps be always lit. Watching and waiting in anticipation for the coming king. Amen? Amen. So I will not hold you much longer. So I want to um, invite Sister Makita to come for a few minutes. And those of you all who probably needed prayer or the word, need for the Lord to speak a word in your life. After she's finished, she will instruct you to sue. You will come. Amen. The Lord is good. The Lord is good and his mercy is enjoyed forever. He hears your cry tonight. He knows all what you are in need of. He knows your thought before you even think it. But what the Lord wants tonight, he wants you to be obedient to his word. You see, faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. This morning I was sitting there praying for this service. And I said, Lord, what do you want me to say? And he said, just be obedient to my word. He said, put yourself aside. All what you are going through. All your problems. Everything that you're facing. And just concentrate on him. He said, when you learn to walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Things of this world will not bother you. The things that you need will come to you. But when you only worry about how I'm getting the money to pay this bill, many times we are faced with trials and I said, Lord, when the trials will end. By the word of God, I go back to the word. He said, trust in the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And lean not unto your own understanding. So when it is you are leaning on your own understanding tonight, the things that you are praying for will be hard to accomplish. Amen? Amen? I want you all to stand to your feet tonight. The atmosphere is ready. Can I just have the worshipers behind me here? Harabashanda. God is about to move in this place. Amen. He just wants to do something in this place. As the announcer said, that something is about to happen. Hallelujah. Something is about to happen tonight. He said, I've come to heal the brokenhearted tonight. And I come to set the captive free. He knows all that you are in need of tonight. He just wants you to come. Invite him in tonight. Worshippers, you just sing a lovely song. You all, all have lovely voices. Come, Holy Spirit, I 
from him. Can I call that lady in the blue right on that side there? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's continue singing softly. You need the Lord. There are many trials that you face. Sometimes you get discouraged. But the Lord said to be not discouraged, be not dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with you tonight. Your situation is about to change. There are many struggles that you face. But God is about to change things around. Amen? Amen. Amen. Am I talking the truth? I see you crying out to the Lord. Hey, Jesus. The word of God said, I will not see the righteous forsaken. Neither see a seed beg for bread. You will not go hungry anymore. You will not beg for bread anymore. Do you believe that? Do you believe tonight that God is about to change your situation around? I know I'm hearing in my spirit, but I don't talk people business. But I'm hearing in the, my spirit that something has to change in your life. You've been crying out to God for far too long. Can you raise your hand? Hey, I'm not going to touch you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Every walls that is hindering this woman, be thou removed now. In the name of Jesus, heal her heart now. Heal her heart now. In the name of Jesus. Father, that situation that she's praying for, Lord, she will come back and testify tonight. She will come back and testify of your goodness. How that situation is about to change. In Jesus' name. Amen. God 
is going to give you your answer very soon. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. The lady in the burgundy behind this lady, can you come? I'm only praying for who God lead me to pray for tonight. Hallelujah. Why are you worrying? Stop worrying. You're worrying too much. You know what I'm saying? Stop worrying. When you learn to give it all to God, he will fix the rest. But you worry too much. Amen? Can you raise your hand? Say, Lord, I cast all my burdens to you. I cast all my problems to you. I put it in your hands. All that I need of tonight, I pray, oh God, it shall come to pass. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Is there anyone in urgent need of prayer because of time? Please come forward, please. The word of God says, Acts of anything in my name. In whose name? Not in my name. I'm just a vessel. Say, Acts of anything in my name. And it shall be given unto you tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Touch this man, Lord. I see your struggles. I see your struggles tonight. Father. In the name of Jesus. Father. Lord God, all of this man is asking you for tonight. We come in agreement in prayer tonight in the name of Jesus. That you will make every crooked path straight in his life. Hear his cry tonight. We are coming in agreement in prayer. That whatsoever he's asking you for tonight, it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus, Lord. In Jesus' name. Mend every situation. Mend every situation. In the name of Jesus, help him tonight, oh God. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You sow a seed in faith. In faith. And all that you're praying for tonight. All. All. He didn't say son. All that you're praying for. Because you are faithful. As a faithful woman. But sometimes a wave hits you too hard. Hey. Sometimes the situation is more than you can bear. But the Lord is saying he's making a way where there seems to be no way. He's breaking those walls tonight. All that the enemy had set up for you. The Lord the Lord is turning it around for good tonight. Let in the name of Jesus. Break those walls. Break it tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Set this woman free. Set a family free. Set them free. I see you praying for a family member. There's someone in your family you are praying for. Am I right? You are praying for a family member. Rabba Siana Rabba Shut up. In the name of Jesus, I pray that change will come tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Spirit. Oh, Spirit. In your heart. Spirit. I pray that God will heal this heart. Spirit. Disappointment. A lot of people are good. It water is time for God to restore. Over my soul. I will more give you a word. He said, I will restore the years that you are lost. There's something great that you pray for tonight. Do you want to tell me that?
Come on and praise God like break, you know it. Come break, on, music. Break, 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 Our time break, is break, gone. Hallelujah. Break now. Yes, God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. One more praise to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say praise, praise the Lord. Continue praising. Continue praising. We are praising our way through. Hallelujah. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Enough what I take from you. Hallelujah. Somebody enough say praise the Lord. Tonight I declare that the wealth we, of the we, wicked. Welcome to our online donation. To submit your tithes or donate, log on to deliverance-temple.org. Click on the Donate tab top right on the screen. Select Donate Now or Donate Directly to Trinidad via WP. Select your method of payment, either Donate via Credit Debit Card tab or Donate via WePay Voucher. Complete the form and proceed to check out or submit donation. You can also support our ministry while visiting any First Citizens Bank. Donate to the account number 1490776 in the name of Vali Deliverance Temple. Thank you for your financial contribution. Hello. I'm Sister Aisha, and we want to take this time to pause to say to each of you, those of you here in Trinidad and Tobago, and those of you abroad, welcome to Deliverance Temple International. We will be heading back into service in a short while. However, we would like to invite you to join us in person right here at number 30 Besson Street in Port of Spain. Although we know the God we serve, he's omniscient, yes. There is nowhere that he cannot go. However, we would like to invite you to join us at Deliverance Temple, number 30 Basson Street, where we can have some great fellowship with you and your family.
once again, thank you so much for tuning in to this program. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We'll be heading back into service in a short while. I am a conqueror. I'm an overcomer. In the name of the Lord. We give God praise and thanks. I know I promised to pray for you all tonight. Some of you, so you that came in for special prayer, make sure you're here Sunday afternoon where I can lay hands on you and pray for you, okay? We, we, we try our best to, don't worry, because I know what's happening in the neighborhood, so we try our best. We're sorry that we can keep the preachers and invite longer, but we have to be wise as serpents and as harmless as a dove. They killed on our streets right here, they kill on the next side there, they kill on our news, oh Jesus. That's why I need you here on the 17th for that prayer meeting, that the killings in the area will stop. Lift your hands to heaven and say, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh God, my strength and my redeemer. God bless you. Go safe in Jesus' name.